Hi everyone, welcome to the demonstration of Apsi Connect. In today's demonstration, I will be showcasing you how to integrate your online Salesforce CRM account with the back office ERP dynamic nav via Apsi Connect. So we have a demo Salesforce account and demo database company which we use for this demo purpose. I will start by the customer synchronization process or firstly I can say the account synchronization process and which will be taking place from Salesforce to Navision direction and once I have added that account I will move to the contact synchronization part. Once I have added account and contact I will move to the product synchronization which will be taking place from Navision to Salesforce account. After that, I'm moving to the sales order part. So without wasting much more time, let's start the demonstration. So here I'm just creating a new account in Salesforce. So here you have to provide the account name. So I'm giving an account name here and a unique email ID has to be mentioned here. Let's give the other details for that particular account. So once you have added the address and other details for that particular account, let's change the status of that account in active. So I am making it yes. So I have added the details. So these are the default field which I have mapped for this demo. So let's save it. Account has been created. Now I'm going to create a new contact under that particular account. So let's provide the first and last name. I have added the first and last name and let's mention an email ID. I'm using a dummy one but you have to make sure that this email ID has to be a valid one once you have added that details regarding that particular contact I'm just quickly saving it so I have created account and contact in Salesforce now moving to the Apsi Connect agent so this is the Apsi Connect agent which is a light weighted software which is, has to be installed in your server or you can install it in your windows also you just make sure you should have a perfect internet connectivity here from salesforce to navigation direction you can find there is an integration point account that i mean before the synchronization we have to just validate those app which you want to be connected once you have done with the validation if you choose that connection it will be showcasing in your resync bucket so this is a sync bucket where you can find the connection in both direction the integration point will be available so these are the integration point which is showcasing right now so i'm going to synchronize that account and contact from salesforce to navigation direction so that's why let's open that so here you can find the account synchronizing account at integration point which we have to trigger and once synchronization has been done it will be reflecting uh, in your navigation account i mean in your nav so let's find let's go to the home page where you can find the customer i mean the account which i have created once the synchronization has been done you can find that customer or account in your nav so uh, i want to mention one thing i uh, have used there are two type of trigger option here in apps connect one is manual another one is auto using the manual on for this demo purpose but if you want to make it automatically then you have to put a time so that after that particular time data will synchronize automatically you don't have to worry about the trigger so in the recent bucket you can find the details whether the synchronization has been successfully synced or not and if there is any failure then the checkboxes is converted from green to red and uh, the details regarding the synchronization you can find in the log file so this is the log file so i have added that uh, account already so let's find that one so this is the Alfredo solution account which I have created in Salesforce. It's successfully present in Navision with all the details which I have mentioned for that particular account. 
it's check visible right now like the email id the address phone number which i have mentioned so these are the default field which i have mentioned it's uh, available here this uh, process is a bi-directional process so if you want to create an account in your navision and want to synchronize that from navision to salesforce direction that can be possible also i have added that account now i'm just quickly at the contact uh, which i have synced for that particular account so let's move to the contact in now so under the contact table let's find that contact by its name so here is the contact which i have created is successfully synced now with the details which i have mentioned for that particular contact okay so these are the account and contact synchronization so i'm just quickly move to the product synchronization part for that i'm creating a new product in navision and after that i will synchronize that from navision to salesforce direction so let, let's go to items part where i can create a new item here i have to mention item number description you have to mention here and the mandatory details you have to provide for that particular navigation account let's add a unique price and these are the posting group which is mandatory field in navigation so you have to mention here and of course the tax group code also and if i scroll down here i can find there is integration i mean there is extension which is provided by apps connect in navision basically some field which is not available in navision uh, to make it showcaseable we have used this extension which is provided by apps connect and if i go down here you can find there is uh, ex extension part that is ac application item list where you can find the application id well application id is just because of a navigation can connect with various type of e-commerce and crm websites so if you like like the magento shopify woocommerce and other one and for example for a crm soho crm so uh, to make a different shade between them we have uh, added this application id part so for this uh, salesforce one the application id will be seven so i'm choosing the seven one and there is a wave item flag flag which is has to be checked and these are the flags to make it enable and visible in your salesforce account so once you have added all the details for that particular product let's just click on ok and the order i mean the product synchronization will be taking place from navigation to salesforce direction so that's why i'm going to open this one from navigation to salesforce one these are the integration point which is right now showcasing to you so here is the product at integration point uh, which i'm going to use for this uh, item synchronization and once the synchronization has been done uh, i can find that product and i mean in salesforce under that products part and once the synchronization has been done here you can find the item which i have created it's showcasing in salesforce account you just have to refresh this page and after that it will be reflecting in your salesforce so this is the item and uh, after that synchronization the result will be showing in your sync bucket I mean dressing bucket so uh, let's find th this is the Aurela Kurti item which I have created for that uh, item synchronization and the details which I have mentioned for that particular item is synced so you can see that the price is not present here so for adding the price I'm adding the standard price but if you want to add the price list so we can map that also if someone want to map different uh, price for different price price list for that particular item that can be done also and once that price synchronization has been done you just have to refresh this page so once you have uh, refreshed this page 
the price will be reflecting under the standard price because I have mapped the price here in and the so with the uh, standard price but if you want to map with the price book also other price books or different prices for different price book that can be done also so I have added the price with the I mean uh, I have added that product with the price and I'm going to adding uh, a new order so I'm going to add a new order from Salesforce and I will be synchronizing uh, I'm synchronized that sales order from Salesforce to navigation direction so you have to mention the account name so let's find the account name and of course you have to mention the start date The details for that particular order you have to mention here so I have added other details I and mean, let's just copy the address and let's choose the order end date So also mention all the details for that particular order. Let's I'm just quickly saving it and let's make it active. So I'm just adding the product for that particular order. You can choose the price book here and let's fight that item which I have created so here is the item let's select that and you have to mention quantities and save it so I have added that line item or line I mean order product also so uh, now my order is fully placed I mean created in Salesforce now I'm just quickly go back to the agent and from Salesforce to Navigation Direction you can find the sales order integration point which you have to trigger and once the synchronization has been done you can find your order under the sales order in Navigation. So let's find that sales order by the name of that account. So here is the sales order which I have placed in Salesforce It's successfully synced in Navision with all the details you can find which I have mentioned for that particular sales order is synced and like the product and other details which I have mentioned for that particular order is successfully synced here in, uh, you can find it in Navision. So there are some few integration points which I mean few integration uh, which I have configured for this demo purpose. So if you have any queries, you can directly contact with us. Thank you.